Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare medieval meatballs with herbs from Anonimo Toscano, a cookbook written in the 14th century. We start with the ingredients. We need the pork tenderloin, the spices, black pepper, nutmeg and cloves, and the herbs, chard, arugula, celery, parsley, garlic greens, mint, fennel, rosemary, marjoram and dill. There is no need to have all these herbs for a good outcome of the recipe. As the author writes, the choice of ingredients depends on the discretion of the good cook, as well as the herbs to choose, wild or cultivated. First, we miss the aromatic herbs we need to prepare the meatballs. For the meatballs, the recommended herbs are rosemary, parsley and marjoram. And to cook them, the author suggests chard, fennel, parsley and anise. This last term, in Italian vernacular, means anise seeds. But frequently, the Italian authors, medieval or not, confuse aneso and aneto, which is dill, and is the ingredient mentioned in an older version of this recipe, written in Latin and included in the Liber de Cuquina. Anonimo Toscano's manuscript, indeed, is for a good part a translation into Tuscan vernacular of this cookbook, but with many variations and additions. Then we miss all the other herbs, including some more parsley. Meatballs are just one of the possibilities to prepare this recipe, called by Anonimo Toscano Herbe Minute, which means minced herbs. Anonimo Toscano suggests making it in three main ways. In the basic recipe, the minced herbs are still fried and then cooked with a bit of water, then served with pepper and spices. To them, one can add eggs, fish, mutton or pork, or even salted meat. The last method is the one we are choosing today, with meatballs or fish cakes prepared with the beaten meat, mixed with parsley, marjoram and rosemary. The recipe recommended by the Liber de Cuquina instead calls for spices and cloves with the fish pulp, raw and the bond, mixed with the herbs and pounded in the mortar. The fish cakes must have the size of acorns and have to be cooked with the minced herbs. One can also use pork tenderloin to prepare meatballs with the same ingredients for the fish cakes, always with the addition of spices, not mentioned by Anonimo Toscano. In addition to salted meat and meatballs, the Liber de Cuquina mentions uh, salsicce, sausages. The author calls mortarelli and comandelli these meatballs or fish cakes, whereas the Liber de Cuquina uses a more common term, tomacelli or tumacella, which dates back to ancient Roman cuisine. There are a few recipes for mortarello or mortarolum in the medieval cookbooks. One of them reported by both Liber de Cuquina and Anonimo Veneziano. It's prepared with pre-cooked pork liver, pounded in the mortar with marjoram and other herbs, mixed with eggs, then wrapped in cold fat and fried. Then they are cooked again with a mixture of wine, broth, saffron and spices. Now we miss the pork tenderloin. We use the pork tenderloin mentioned in the Liber de Cuquina, but you can choose other kinds of meat or cuts of pork, 
since Anonimo Toscano doesn't specify it. Pork is perfect for this recipe, but you can also use mutton or chicken, depending on your taste. We mix the minced meat with parsley, marjoram, rosemary and two pinches of salt and shape small meatballs. Salt is not mentioned in this recipe, but medieval cooks have the tendency to give it for granted. If you want to know more about medieval cooking, check out our Patreon page, in which you find translations into English and Italian of ancient and medieval sources of dietetics and cuisine, in addition to many articles dedicated to historical ingredients. This month is available the second and last part of the Flore Dietarum, a beautiful dietetic source belonging to the tradition of the Salernitan Medical School and dating back to the 11th century. Then we grind the spices. The author doesn't specify which spices to use, except for pepper. We added cloves mentioned in the Liber de Cuquina and nutmeg, two of the most common, but you can choose others, for example ginger, grains of paradise or cinnamon. If you want to know more about ancient cooking, check out our book Ancient Roman Cooking, available on Amazon in English and Italian, in both ebook and print editions. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. We cook the herbs with olive oil and two pinches of salt for a couple of minutes. Then we add the spices, a bit of water and the meatballs. We cooked the meatballs for less than 5 minutes, but if you choose another cut instead of tenderloin, the cooking time can increase considerably. The meatballs turned out tasty and with an intense fragrance of herbs, an excellent pairing with the minced herbs. It would be interesting to try this recipe with fish, possibly with a fish with a delicate flavor, to better absorb the powerful herbal aroma. Or even with salted meat. In the latter case, we suggest to avoid adding further salt. We recommend pairing this meat was with a first course with a less intense flavor, such as lasagna, gnocchi or vivanda bona to make an excellent medieval meal, simple and tasty, or if you want a perfect dinner for spring with green ravioli. You find the links to the recipes in the description below. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.